Breaking news! Man, that didn't take long. The Miami Hurricanes have their new defensive coordinator, Lance Gidry. Welcome to the U! You are Locked on Canes, your daily podcast on the Miami Hurricanes. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. I am Alex Dono, your host. I'm a University of Miami alumnus, longtime South Florida sports radio vet and contributor to allhurricanes.com. And thank you so much for making Locked on Canes your first listen or your second listen. We're available free wherever you get your podcasts and available free on YouTube. The defensive coordinator job has been filled. First reported by Kane Sport. Big shout out to Gary Furman and his crew there. First reported by Kane Sport. It's now been confirmed by everybody who needs to confirm it. Lance Gidry is the new defensive coordinator at the University of Miami. He, um, I like this, guys. L let me first say I like Lance Gidry. Um, I've been ha having to give myself a crash course, though, on, on the resume over the last several minutes since he was hired. I like everything I see. I like everything that I've heard uh, from folks that I've reached out to about this. Uh, first, uh, first phone call that I made, actually, he called me. Right after it happened, we talked a little bit about it. Uh, first person I talked to on the phone was Larry Bluestein, who we happen to speak to this morning, talking about other potential candidates. Because, you know, at 845 this morning when I spoke to Blue, Lance Guidry's name was not even on the radar. Uh, most recent stop for Guidry, where he did exceptionally well, was with Marshall. He'd been the defensive coordinator at Marshall for the last couple of years. And Marshall's D, you know, I know it's not Power 5, but they were among the most productive defenses in the entire country and Guidry was able to parlay his success at Marshall to be named defensive coordinator job at Tulane and his arrival at Tulane happened less than a month ago guys it's February 7th right now Lance Guidry had been announced as defensive coordinator at Tulane on January 17th and so the way that Kane Sport described this hire uh, was an interception, <laughs> which is something that Guidry's defenses do very well. They forced 29 turnovers last year at Marshall. But Miami basically intercepted Lance Guidry from Tulane the same way that Miami intercepted Kevin Steele last year from Maryland because he had agreed to become the defensive coordinator at Maryland before he ultimately decided to go with Mario Cristobal to Miami. Um, so, you know, guys, again, um, I think the only knock on Guidry, and this is not really a knock, this is just a question mark. The only question mark about Lance Guidry, the new defensive coordinator of the Miami Hurricanes, is we haven't seen him do it at the Power 5 level. Um, he's been serving as a DC at various stops. Uh, he, the first time he was named a defensive coordinator was 12 years ago at Western Kentucky, 2011. So he's been DC at Western Kentucky, uh, McNeese State, Southeastern Louisiana, uh, was actually, I think, a, a safeties coach at FAU for one year, DC the last couple of years at Marshall. Uh, previously, he's also worked at Miami of Ohio, McNeese State, uh, and uh, Leesville oh, High School. So, you know, uh, that, that resume is what it is. But he's got he's got a long resume. He's been a defensive coordinator and a really productive one at several places. But Guidry has not done it yet at the Power 5 level. But I think the reason why Miami fans, I think, are going to get to like uh, Guidry pretty quickly is his defenses are known for their aggression. So for those of you who want... A D that's going to be disruptive, aggressive, force a lot of turnovers, create a lot of tackles for a loss. That's the sort of history that the that this defensive coordinator has. Okay, I look at some of the uh, the numbers that his defense has put up in twenty one and twenty twenty two at Marshall. Uh, they ranked eighth in the country in total defense. They ranked third in America in yards per play given up and third in red zone defense. Their opponents averaged just 16 points per game. So it sounds like they were going up against Josh Gaddis offenses every week, but Marshall only gave up 16 points per game last year. That's an exceptional defense, and that's why he became kind of a, a hotter candidate out there. And, uh, and Mario Cristobal was able to identify this one really, really quickly, that he likes Lance Guidry as the next defensive coordinator. Now, 
there's obviously a ripple effect from this. And I would imagine that in the coming days, if not the coming hours, we're going to figure out how this move of hiring somebody from the outside might affect what's going on on the inside, okay? Because when we had our, our morning episode, our main episode today on Locked on Canes this morning with Larry Bluestein, uh, Blue and I both brought up the idea that it, it makes a lot of sense to give this defensive coordinator job to Charlie Strong who's already on the staff, extensive defensive coordinator experience, rather than going outside and plucking someone like a, a Lance Guidry or an Anthony Campanile, who we talked about on this episode, who was considered to be kind of a hot name over the last 24 hours. Um, you know, if you go outside the program and you don't promote Charlie Strong, what happens with Charlie Strong? Um, because there have been reports out there that Strong – has been offered, not defensive coordinator, obviously, because they just filled that job, but that he's been offered um, an assistant coaching job by Nick Saban in the Alabama Crimson Tide. That it wasn't just Kevin Steele that Saban wanted from Miami and got him, but that Saban is also interested in bringing in uh, Charlie Strong. So now that Strong is not getting the promotion to defensive coordinator and play caller here. He was considered a co-defensive coordinator last year, but he wasn't the one actually calling the defense. So now that he's not getting that promotion at Miami, could that mean that Charlie Strong might be on his way out? Uh, and then what happens um, if there is that kind of domino effect? What happens with uh, really bright members of the Miami staff that do not have on-field roles? They have analyst roles. We talked a lot this morning about Jason Taylor, right? Jason Taylor, is he looking for more responsibility in a, in a bigger role? He's been working or worked last year as a defensive analyst. Yeah, Pro Football Hall of Famer, Jason Taylor. Does he want an expanded role on the staff? Could he be elevating to an on-field coaching spot? Uh, could Demarcus Van Dyke, who's you know been busting his butt on the recruiting trail and is very, very well-liked, could Demarcus Van Dyke uh, work his way up to an on-the-field role? Now, obviously, if Charlie Strong doesn't leave, you don't have a spot for one of these guys. So if you're just bringing in Lance Guidry to fill that D.C. role, and you and if Charlie Strong does decide to stay as linebackers coach and co-D.C., then you don't create any new spots uh, to move up one of these analysts. So there's... You know, we're definitely going to find out, I'm sure, in the coming days, if not the coming hours, if, you know, with Gidry coming in, if anyone's going to be kind of exiting stage left now. Um, so I, I want to dig more into this right after, my friends. Oh, we have to dig into some built bars, my friends. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I eat at least one built bar every single day. I had the cookie dough chunk puff. This morning, that is the breakfast of champions right there, guys. If you're looking for a delicious treat, but you don't want all the fat and calories, you've got to try a Built Bar. We just got through the holidays. I've been trying to eat healthier this year. A lot of you have. If you don't want to compromise taste when you're eating better, I've got just the thing for you. You've got to try Built. With Built, healthy is actually tasty. They're so delicious. You're not going to think that they're good for you. What makes Built Bars so good? Well, for starters, yeah, they're covered in 100% real chocolate, and they come in unbelievable flavors like churro, peanut butter brownie, coconut almond. I don't know how Built does it, but these bars actually taste like candy bars while maintaining amazing macros, only 130 calories, only 4 grams of sugar, a whopping 17 grams of protein. And now you don't have to wait around to get a box. For years, we've been talking about ordering your bars at Built.com. Now you can get them at your local Walmart or Sam's Club. Head to your nearest Walmart or Sam's Club today. Pick up a 13-bar box of hit flavors like brownie batter and churro. You can thank me later because I love me some Built Bars. So uh, in case you're, you're joining us late, uh, the Miami Hurricanes have their new defensive coordinator. They have, uh, in the words of Gary Furman at Kane Sport, they've intercepted Lance Guidry, who had great success with Marshall for the last couple of years as their defensive coordinator. He had accepted the D.C. job at Tulane. Tulane just had their D.C. poached by Oregon, and now they get their next D.C. poached by Miami. Uh, he had just agreed uh, to the Tulane job back on January 17th. So what, about three weeks later, he becomes the defensive coordinator of the Miami Hurricanes. So, you know, it's funny because um, we're all waited with bated breath on what's going to happen at offensive coordinator. That job has officially been open for a couple of weeks now. 
unofficially it's been open for a couple of months because you know a lot of us have been hearing rumblings or had been hearing rum rumblings going back to early december that josh gaddis could be fired it happened in late january uh we still really outside of the fact that i think jason candle is the favorite for the job i think the ball is in jason candle's court as to whether he accepts offensive coordinator or not remember he's the head coach at Toledo so he may not be looking to leave his head coaching role for you know even if it's a lot more money could maybe have his salary doubled down here may not be looking to leave his head coaching job for an offensive coordinator job so uh, the offensive coordinator thing is taken forever defensive coordinator it took all of 36 hours to fill this job what was it Sunday night that Kevin Steele became the Alabama defensive coordinator 36 hours later boom we've got our new DC so this job was filled very quickly. Uh, let me look at some of the uh, – oh, and something else I wanted to add about that because I mentioned to you guys, I had a, a phone conversation with Larry Bluestein, who had joined me on our, our main episode this morning, and we were talking about Gidry when he got hired. And, and Blue, Blue and I were both chuckling because the guy who ends up getting the job at D.C. is a name none of us had been talking about for the last two days. None. None. Right. We'd been bringing up names like Jim Leonard. Uh, we'd been bringing up names, obviously, Charlie Strong within the staff. You know, we'd been talking about Anthony Campanile for the last uh, the last several hours. Reports about him being in the mix came up last night. Um, now, again, kudos to uh, to Gary Furman and Kane Sport for actually reporting that this deal was happening. But up until, you know, hour ago uh depending on when you guys are listening to this and watching this of course but up until about an hour before i'm speaking right now i had never even seen lance gidry's name even thrown out there like this he was so far off anyone's radar and it goes to show you this is the way that mario cristobal works the loafers work in silence that's what our friend hoodie girl always says she says the loafers work in silence i will say the loafers work in mysterious ways so Gidry was not on anyone's radar. And that makes me kind of wonder if the next offensive coordinator could end up being someone that's on nobody's radar right now. That's the way I remember it happening with Josh Gaddis. You know, last year, not that we liked Josh Gaddis, but at the time he was hired, I don't remember really anyone throwing out his name until we knew it was happening. I think there were a lot of other candidates that were in play. So I got to wonder if that may be how this goes down with offensive coordinator as well so let me look up uh, at Kane Sport they noted some of the other stats of Marshall's defense under Lance Gidry who again very aggressive I think Hurricanes fans are going to like him and I, I think there's good reason why Mario Cristobal liked him enough to hire him so the Thundering Herd last year they were ranked I think I mentioned this one first in third down defense giving up only 23.5 percent conversions second in stop rate third in passing defense efficiency and third in yards per play, only 4.6 yards per play. That's outstanding. Uh, fifth in rush defense at 93 yards per game, fifth in turnovers gained 29. That's a lot of turnovers. Sixth in scoring defense, just 16 points per game and sixth in passes intercepted with 18. That's a lot of INTs. I mean, I can imagine Cam Kinchins maybe grabs 10 or 11 of those this coming year. And uh, as I mentioned, they were eighth in the country in total defense. They gave up just 294 and a half yards per game. And they were ninth in first down defense uh, at uh, 200. Uh, 12th in defensive touchdowns at three. So yeah, they scored a few touchdowns last year as well. 16th in the country in team sacks at 2.92 per game. Hopefully with all the talent Miami has on their defensive line this year. I mean, Akeem Mesidor is back. Uh, Leonard Taylor, obviously, we hope that. And, and honestly, my first request to Lance Gidry would be don't rotate LT out as much as Kevin Steele did. Like, let, let Leonard Taylor get his snaps out there. This guy's a freak. He's a freak of nature. Let this guy get his snaps out there. Let him get some more TFL and some more sacks. Give the guy a few more snaps this year. Um, you know, Miami's got some really talented uh, freshman pass rushers coming in. You know, I think Ruben Hurricane Bain is going to be an absolute beast. I can't wait to see what Nigel e. Kelly does in his second year. And if we can get Cyrus Moss, get him a little beefier, get him a little heavier, get him on the field. So uh, I'm excited for this move. I know that, you know, that this is a name that I, I encourage everyone, myself included, I want to learn more about what makes Lance Guidry special and what made him attractive to Mario Cristobal. So I've, I've been putting myself through a crash course 
on this man's resume and kind of what makes him unique as a defensive play caller and what defines his defensive philosophy. So I encourage everyone to put the work in on that. I know I'm going to do that as well. We're going to be talking about this move throughout the week, and hopefully we are soon talking about a new offensive coordinator as well. But I want to remind you guys, FanDuel, this is the week to get yourself signed up because we are so excited about our new sports betting partner here on the Locked On Network, FanDuel, which is the official sports book of the NFL. So you know these guys are backed by the greats. They have so many great features that make betting on sports fun and easy. And if you're new to FanDuel, you want to get signed up. Download FanDuel now so you can bet Super Bowl 57 this Sunday with a no-sweat first bet. You'll get up to $3,000 back in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win. FanDuel lets you bet on everything from the money line to point spreads to who's going to score a touchdown. The FanDuel Sportsbook app is safe, secure, and super easy to use. Best of all, you can get paid your winnings instantly. So join FanDuel today at FanDuel.com slash locked on to claim your no sweat first bet on Super Bowl 57. That's FanDuel.com slash locked on. Make every moment more with FanDuel, the official sportsbook partner of the NFL. So guys, do me a favor. Uh, drop your comments. If you're watching us on YouTube, drop your YouTube comments. Do you like this hire? Are you intrigued to learn more? Do you hate this hire? Do you, do you wish the job had gone to Charlie Strong? Or, or should they have you know, just basically backed up a Brinks truck in a Jim Leonard's backyard? What do you think about this hire? Former Tulane defensive, well, briefly Tulane, former Marshall, and then Tulane for like three minutes, defensive coordinator Lance Guidry is now the defensive coordinator of the Miami Hurricanes. Let, let me know what you think of this hire in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, wherever you get your pods. We're free on YouTube. We're free everywhere, including free on YouTube. And yeah, we have a new defensive coordinator. Let's talk about it. Let's celebrate if you want to. If you're angry about it, let us know. We'll talk to you next time on another episode of Locked on Canes, part of the awesome Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day.